What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I am back with another Destiny 2 video and damn it's been a while guys. Now excuse my voice, I have got a man flu and it's killing me, it really is. But you know what people, I'm over with the negative shit towards this game. If this game is ever going to be good again, we need to be positive about it. This attitude I know won't last long though. Maybe until I next sign into Destiny 2, but we will see, it is what it is. My hopes are still high though of this game becoming better than what it is right now. I mean, can it get any worse? I don't think it can. So today I want to look to the future, and actually not too far into the future, maybe about 5 days into the future, and that is with the Nightfall exclusive rewards. Now these rewards we know, which has been confirmed by Bungie, have been delayed once before, so the design team had more time making them look super unique. This alone is epic in my opinion, it kind of shows that there might not be reskins, which is good news. They were originally meant to drop in the February update, uh, but now we are getting them on March 27th with the Go Fast update, which is literally 5 or 6 days away. Now what I want to talk about today is Bungie's ability right now to offer us more grind than what we've ever had from the sequel and this can be done via Nightfall exclusive loot alone. Now we all miss the grind Destiny 1 offered, the fact we had to replay the same thing over and over and over again to get that certain item. Whether that be Omnigal for the Grasp of Malik, Vanguard Strikes for Rep for the 1000 Yard Stair, Crucible Matches for the Ayas Luna. It was a grind we need in D2, but there is just none of it. Now, with Bungie adding Nightfall exclusive loot, it gives them the chance to bring us what we want, even if it's only from this single part of the game. If this is the case and they bring us what I'm about to mention, it builds towards a better game and it's all good and dandy us telling Bungie what to do and what to change, but without them being able to test it with us, they really can't sacrifice other changes made for ones not tested which could indeed sink their game even more. So what I suggest they do is test the waters with this Nightfall loot, make these Nightfall exclusive rewards extremely rare, and I mean as rare as that perfect roll, Ayas Luna. A weapon I still don't have by the way. In doing this, not everyone will get that Nightfall loot within the first run. But here is the best part. If a said weapon is a part of the week's Nightfall exclusive loot, make that weapon have random rolls. Even if the rolls ain't randomised, make that single weapon have about 5 or 10 different versions, each offering different rolls. Also do not cap how many times per week we can run the Nightfall. So if we run this Nightfall up to 50 times per week, there's a chance this exclusive weapon will drop on that 50th run. I 100% guarantee you this will bring people back to play the game. For an example here, let's go with the Pyramidian Vex Strike. Let's say the exclusive weapon for this strike is the Vex Mythal Class, or something as such. I know this weapon won't ever make a return, but hey, it is what it is. Imagine this weapon had 10 different available rolls, each as rare as each other. Two rolls from the 10 were considered the best. There was no limit on how many times you could run the Nightfall within that week to try and obtain this weapon. You could just keep on grinding. This I know for a fact will give people that nostalgia feeling missing from the game which made them fall in love with Destiny 1. That element of surprise when killing a boss and waiting for that engram to drop, you running over to it, sliding into it and seeing that weapon pop up on the right of your screen, slowly going into your inventory to check its role, praying it's the role you want, that build up, them emotions, that excitement, that relief, this is all missing from Destiny 2. Bungie here have as good an opportunity to deliver us this with these Nightfall exclusive rewards. And with them only dropping one Nightfall per week also, it makes sense from their perspective in having limited content to offer us at the moment. A system as such for Nightfall exclusive rewards is the best possible outcome in my opinion. And it's this kind of system Bungie need to offer on the 27th of March when this update drops. It's all good and dandy Nightfalls having exclusive loot, but if everybody gets them on their first run, what is the point? Seriously, there needs to be a system in place where we have to grind for that weapon or that item. There needs to be a system in place where these are super rare to get. There needs to be a system in place where we can run these Nightfalls as many times per week as we want and each and every time having a chance of that exclusive loot dropping. That's the kind of system we need in place for these Nightfall exclusive loot rewards, we really do. Now I said the Vex as an example by the way, although I know it won't ever make a return. It was just that one weapon I was so desperate to get from Destiny 1. Most other Destiny 1 weapons I grinded for did look good in my collection, but weren't really of much use to me. But the original Vex Mythal class is like nothing else I ever had. Those were also the best times for me in Destiny as a Destiny player. Now I know my idea of how Bungie should play these Nightfalls out probably won't ever happen, but if it did, 
it would in turn make many people return and like I said earlier in the video be the basis of Bungie realizing what we actually want by testing the water first. Such a system could be the start of many new incorporations of better additions to the game and on that note I am out. I do hope Bungie see the video but I ain't hopeful. Maybe you guys could pass the message on, that would be awesome. But guys thanks as always for stopping by. If you did enjoy the video leaving a like really does help me out and hopefully guys I will see you on that next one. Always in the